Hi everyone, and welcome to part 3 of building and configuring your own Linux NAS. In this episode, we will have a look at how we can optimize the power consumption of the machine as it will be on 24-7. In part 1 I covered the hardware and in part 2 the software. In order to be able to measure the consumption and to see the impact of the actions we will perform, I will use a Tuya like smart power plug. Using some scripts, we can plot the current power consumption on a graph, probably something I should cover in a separate video later. Before we begin the optimization, let's have a look at how much power the PC is using in idle situation. The NAS has been started a while ago and have been sitting idle so far. At this point, we see that it's consuming around 25 watts. This is already quite good and actually a lot better than I had hoped for. To see how soon we hit this state and out of curiosity, I decided to perform a reboot while monitoring the power consumption. I will speed up the footage a bit to not make this too boring. As expected, we can see a peak in the power demand during the reboot. The peak seems to be around 70 watts, and after some time the device returns to the state we saw before, so around 25 watts. Now that we know our starting point, which is already quite good, the most logic next step is to check the impact of spinning down the disks. This is not done by default on Debian as it might impact performance and it also comes with a trade-off in comfort. To test the impact we can do a manual spin down. This can be done using hdparm-y. First let's do SDA and we immediately see the impact on the power consumption. Next let's do SDB as well and we see a similar drop. And just for testing, trying to spin down the SSD doesn't have any impact as expected. Now, when we try to read something from the RAID array with the disks in the state, we see a delay in response and a slight peak in consumption, as the system will first need to bring up the disks again. This is a trade-off I can definitely live with in favor of lower power consumption. In order to automate the spin down of the disks, we can use a tool called HDIDLE. For some reason it's no longer in the main repositories for Debian 10. Fortunately you can find it in the backport repo. In order to install it, we first need to enable backports and sources.list. Next we can update the list and install the package. Once installed, before we activate it during boot, let's test the functionality. HDIDLE is monitoring proc stats to see if a disk is being used or not. We can clearly see it doing that in the debug output. If the disk hasn't been used for the configured time, 60 seconds in my test here, it will spin down the disks. Keep in mind that setting the threshold too low will put an additional stress on your disks as they will likely be spin down and up very often. 10 minutes or 600 seconds seems like a good value for my use case. The footage here is speed up, but as expected, we can see the drop in power consumption immediately when HDIDLE determined the disks are not being used. Now that we know the tool is working, let's configure it. The timeout and other options can be configured in etc defaults HDIDLE. In the video, I will set it to 60 seconds in order to test things properly. When testing is finished, I'll reconfigure it to 600 seconds as explained before. Once we're done, we can simply start it using systemd and enable it for start on boot. At this point, it looks like with spinning down the disks, we have an idle power consumption of around 15 watts. There simply won't be much more to gain, but just to be sure, I'll be installing PowerTop. PowerTop is a tool that checks known tunable items related to power consumption. We can simply install the PowerTop package using apt. Once installed, we can start it. As you can see, PowerTop has various tabs. Each has different information. The one interesting to us is the tunables. We can enable the bad ones one by one to tune the system. Unfortunately, these changes are not persistent. The easiest way to make it that way is to create a systemd service that will run PowerTop with the auto-tune parameter during boot time. To do so, we can create a new service file as you can see in the video. In case you are wondering, all details and the contents to copy can be found on my blog for which you can find a link in the description. Once we are done, we can save the file and simply enable the service on boot, just as we did for HDIO. In terms of power saving, not much more can be done that won't have a large impact. To test the changes we made and services we enabled, 
Let's perform a final reboot to check out our result. In the power readings, we can first see the peak in power consumption during the boot. Finally, we end up slightly below the previous idle consumption line. Most likely, this is the effect of the power top tunables. After some time, when the HD idle timeout is met, we can see the drop in consumption caused by spinning down the discs. As a final result, we end up with an idle consumption of around 14-15 watt. This comes very close to a lot of dedicated NAS systems. Having a look at the daily power consumption, I can see that the changes clearly had an effect, as the system uses now around 0.35 kWh per day. This concludes the third and final part of my NAS building adventure. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you liked it, please put a thumbs up and if you're interested in this or similar content, don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. I also have a Linux related blog, jensd.be, for which I provided the link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you back here soon.